is on November the 11th, and this is to remember the soldiers who were in the war, armed forces, and they are celebrated and appreciated and commemorated for those who died in the war. Um, the other common name is also our Mystic Day, so which marks the day when the enemy stopped fighting, which is on no no November the 11th, um, at 11 a.m. In 1918, the uh, so basically it's the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, which marks the end of the first world war in the UK. And this day and time was made into to remember day to remember those who have died in the war in most Commonwealth countries. So in Canada, remember day is a statutory holiday, but it does provide those who who are in this country to get um. A better understanding and to appreciate and to and to um, experience people who were had family members or people who knew someone in the war and to give their stories and experiences so I asked at Seneca College we did get to experience um, a sense of understanding so knowledge a sense of deeper um, agreement between us and the people who participated in Remembrance Day we did get a lot of activities and stories to help build a picture of, of like how it was so, um, as students, um, we did get an idea, but many people still do not appreciate or it, many people I hear that, uh, who say, oh, or remember say it's only people of a certain generation and certain generation don't understand. Well, people have experienced um, different things, whether they are young and older. So, I have for us um, pe um, a guest of a young generation that will tell us what remember say means to this person and maybe um what why they celebrated what is the story behind it so we'll see different responses and answers from this person but i believe that whether you are older or younger we remember say it doesn't um it does affect all of us but it may be in a different way because people didn't really have any connection or family ties so we see that on we remember say there isn't a really with students like like they, they care but the understanding there is not present Hi, so vloggers. Um, today I brought me a a, a young person for the vlog. Um, uh, I wanted their input on what the whole process of re, re um of what remember is, is all about because as the generation go on, um, they don't really appreciate or I people don't think they really understand what it is about. So I want to ask my guest here, uh, some of his input and what he think it's about. So, um, young man, um, what is your name? Jevin. And what is your middle and last name? My middle name is Matthew and my last name is Hilaire. Interesting. Okay. And how good are you? I'm eight years old. Eight. Okay. So you're in grade two? Three. Three. Okay. So what exactly is Remembrance Day? Remembrance Day is remembering about the soldiers who died that that lived a long time ago. Interesting. Okay. And what does this day mean t t to you? It means about remembering. About remembering. Okay, so do, do you feel that um, Remembrance Day is more um, targeted to people of a, people who are older or people who are of your age group? People that are older. Older. Interesting. Okay, so when you see people wearing red poppies, what does that mean to you? So what is the red poppies all about? Do you know? It makes first one makes me feel. Makes me feel bad, and second of all, it makes me feel remember. Okay, so so um, I was saying for the red poppies, they they make you feel bad because the the people who died were um on their grave tombs. That was the kind of flower that grew. So because of that, that made me you feel bad. Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, next question. Um. So when at school, I believe that um for Remembrance Day, you have a moment of silence. So, during that time of silence... It's a vow of silence. A vow, a vow of silence. Um, during that time of silence, what do you think about? So, what goes through your mind? A ghost of, of poppies. Poppies, okay. So, that so that goes through your mind. Okay, and for my last question, uh, do you think that people of your generation and your age group Will they continue to appreciate what people have done on Remembrance Day? Yeah. Why? Cause, cause that happened long time ago. Okay, interesting. 
Well, vloggers, you have it here from young to old. People do appreciate Remercy and we do know the apartment meeting. Um, yes, the age gap and what it means for different people can mean different things, whether it's personal, whether people know about it, but there is a good understanding and people um, do know and respect re 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 Remercy. If they are alive still, I will respect them a lot. And that that's a good that, that's a good thing to say. So I'm gonna end it there. Okay, and... now we'll see you back in another break. Bye. <laughs> Thanks.